All right, good morning. My husband told me whenever he called a few minutes ago that for um, supper he wanted uh, beef and potato pot pie homemade. So that's what I'm doing. So I, I was, at a, as always, I will have all the ingredients in the description below and the directions. But I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to get started. Let me turn my eye on so it'll be heating up. Okay, in here I've gotten one 15 ounce cans of mixed vegetables and a 12 ounce can of just the roast, um, roast beef and I've already boiled one gigantic diced up tomato and I'm going to leave it in hot water. This is the roast beef I used. Any kind of roast beef would do. I drained the juice off and I got the juice over here and I'm going to use it to make my gravy with. And I have water and juice and I even used the I used a can of beef broth and I used a can of the mixed vegetables and I drained the juice off it and used it to make my on um, that too and I used a little Noyer's beef broth and I got onion powder and garlic powder and salt and pepper and two pie crust I've already preheated my oven to 350 and I've greased my iron skillet now before we get started I hope my pie crust is thawed out enough because I took it out I did not know this, but I took it out a little, little later. But if it tears up, it could always be fixed. I've washed my hands. I've got everything set up. While my grease is heating up, I'm going to try to go ahead and do my bottom pie crust. If it will let me without tearing up. We'll see how that goes. Because uh, you're supposed to take them out and let them sit for a few minutes. But I did not know till a few minutes ago. And I got some more to go later, so. But we'll see. And it's not like I'm taking it nowhere fancy. He's going to eat it, so. He doesn't care what it looks like. As long as it's good. Let's see. Got a little hole in it. You want to try to center it the best you can, and if you can, it doesn't matter. As long as, because he's going to dip it out into a plate anyway. And as I said before, you usually want this to set out for a little while, but I did not because I got somewhere to go. And I wanted to sort of get it done, so we're going to make do with what we got. And I have two of those, and we're going to put one in the bottom and one in the top. And you can sort of push it back together to make a bottom crust. And when it's just y'all at home, you don't have to make it pretty. It's whenever I go off somewhere that I always worry about it not being so pretty. And I'll make sure you grease your iron skillet real good. Or, or whatever dish you use. You don't necessarily have to use an iron skillet. You can use whatever. And you can make your own pie crust. And I will show you how to do that one day. We'll do it like that one day. There's a piece that had fell off. I'm just going to push it right there. All right. I think we doing pretty good. I think it turned out fairly decent. It'll be all right. Hopefully, by the time I get through this one, it'll be a little bit better. If not, as I said, it doesn't have to be beautiful as long as it's edible. Now, I got this mixed here. I'm going to move you over here with me so you can see how I make the, um, the other part of it. Let's see if I can find somewhere to put you. Let's move that. Okay, I think my oil is hot. Now, in here I have equal parts oil and I have um, just plain flour and salt and pepper and a little beef bouillon okay and you just we're just gonna make a gravy and I'm gonna use this beef broth and beef stock and all that to come off the vegetables to make it with and you want to make it kind of runny okay yes yeah, perfect 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 you just want to get that flour browned and I know y'all hate my skillet y'all said it but I like it, and I'm used to it, and it cooks pretty good, so. And it worked for me. It was a very expensive skillet, and I dropped it and made it 
want it, so I just use it for whatever. I only used to use it for eggs, but I have a brand new one I use for eggs now. So I don't care how this one is treated. No one ever cooks it in with me anyway. Okay? And you want to get this as brown as you like it. He likes it pretty brown with a lot of pepper. And I did put a good bit of pepper in it. And I will put, like I said, the ingredients and directions in the bottom. You want to get that flour taste out of it first. And then I'll move you back over here. And we'll, we'll wrap it up. It takes no time at all. And you can use cream of, cream of chicken or cream of celery soup with this or whatever. But this is just as easy to me. Okay, let's start adding this. And we may have too much and we won't use it all, but if we do, that's fine too. Because if I make gravy out of it, I make biscuits all the time. It'll last in the refrigerator for several days, and I can still heat it up for gravy. So we still get the same situation. We get it used so it doesn't go bad. And we have animals that, you know, pigs and stuff that can eat what's left. And you don't want it lumpy. You want to get all those lumps and make it real smooth. And as, this, as I said before, you do not want it to be thick. So this is about the consistency I want it. And I don't want to add any more liquid to it. So I'm going to kill the flame. Because the longer it sits on the hot eye, the longer it, it the thicker it gets. Yes, that's very good. I'm going to slide this over. Now I'm going to move you back. Give me just a moment. <clears throat> we basically just made a roux, which is a, a gravy. Okay. And get your line back up. There's my bowl. Now I'm not sure I'm going to use all this, so I'm going to put half of it in. Let's see, and then we'll see. We'll go from there. Uh, maybe a little more. Because I still have my potatoes I got to put in. Sit this back over here. Yes, that looks about right. Now, I don't want this liquid out of the potatoes. It's just water where I boiled them and had them sitting there in water. Okay. And this was just one giant potato. It was a russet potato. And you can use whatever potato you like. We just happen to only like russet. So. I think I want to add him a little more pepper in it. Because he does like it peppery. And he'll be the only one eating it. Okay. And as I said before, it's just us. I'm not worried about that crap us. Excuse me, pie crust. <laughs> I'm tearing a little bit. I'm not even thinking about it. Very good. That needs all or anything. Now, I'm going to put this in there. It should be just enough to fill it good. This smooth out. Perfect. That is a perfect amount too. Sure is. It looks good too. Now we are going to take our other pie crust and hope for the best. And if it tears up, it tears up because it'll work itself out in the end. I promise you. You just want to cook it till the pie crust is done and it's brown because everything else is pretty much done. And taste amazing. So I'm trying to sort of 
do it slowly so it'll look kind of decent for y'all. So we'll see. Because it kind of, the manufacturer kind of rolled it up there at the end. Now, I got it out without tearing it. And you just want this to go on the top. And see, they won't see the bottom crust because they're going to dip out of it. So it's not something you slice. Now you want to just take and push this down in here like this. You want to kind of center it. And you want to just pinch it around the edges to keep it from from boiling out. And I'm going to set it on a cookie sheet. Sometimes stuff does boil out. It's life. What do you do? So, so I could have centered it a little bit better, but I'm in a rush because I got an appointment to go to. Now, turned out pretty good looking. See? Homemade pot pie. Now, you take a knife and you just want to do you some vent holes. This helps keep it from running over. And you just want to go through the top one, even though the bottom one has holes. It's our secret. Nobody knows it. So now, I will get my cookie sheet that I use to sit everything on. It just sits up there. And I just sit it in the middle of it. And that's it. And you bake this till the top. Don't worry about the bottom or anything. The filling is already pretty much done. You want to bake this till the top is golden brown. When the top is the um, brownness to your liking, then it'll be done. I would take it out and set it on top of the stove for a little bit, maybe 10, 15 minutes, let it cool a bit. And then you just eat it like you would any pot pies. Roast beef and potato pot pie with vegetables. Thank you. Bye.